Hi, my name is Abby Hunter, and I'm a part of a project to bring light to the creative community we have here in our very own Lancaster County. And today with me, I have Blaze Berry. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Blaze, and how you became an actor. So um, I'm 16 years old, um, and I have been acting pretty much since uh, I was about, I think, like 10, around that age. Um, I actually started um, acting here in this uh, very space that we're in. Um, as you know, my mom, uh, Mary Beth Berry, is a um, professor here at USCL. She teaches um, speech and theater, um, and she's been doing it pretty much since I've been around. Um, and so I'm always, for like 10 years, I had horrible stage fright, and I never wanted to be on stage. You know, it was just, I don't like being in front of people, all that. I don't know what came upon me one day, but apparently during, uh, I believe it was Peter Pan and Wendy, um, they had, I think it was Peter Pan and Wendy, yeah, I believe it was Peter Pan and Wendy was my very first show. Um, and that was, um, I believe in Tech Week, they lost somebody um, and they needed uh, somebody to fill in. And they couldn't find anybody. And for whatever reason, uh, you know, I think it was like nine-year-old me decided that they were going to be like, hey, I'm going to, I'll do it. And that is um, the catalyst for where I am now. Um, so after that, um, you know, I finished out Peter Pan and Wendy just as, I think it was like just an ensemble member. I didn't really have a big role. I may have had like one or two lines. Um, wasn't anything huge. Um, after that, I believe I went and did House at Pooh Corner here as well. Um, that one I had a larger role in. I played, um, I think it was Brew. I think that was the name of the character. Um, and so that one was more of a leading character. Um, after that, uh, I had my first like actual audition. Um, in Columbia at Town Theater, and um, uh, it was a youth, um, a youth um, show, Aladdin Jr. And this was different because this was a musical. All the other ones I had done so far were straight plays. Um, this one had songs and stuff in it, and so I was not, you know, not. I didn't think I could sing and all that. But I went to auditions, and somehow I pulled the lead role. Um, so I was playing Aladdin in Aladdin Jr. and that was a really awesome experience for my te first technical show. I, I consider it my first show, I just think because um, I wasn't thrown in at the last minute, it was, I was there through the entire process of um, developing the show, rehearsing the entire time, not just in Tech Week. Um, and so I would continue my work uh, with Town Theater for a couple of years there. Um, and I wouldn't come back to this space until recently um, when I started dual enrollment when I was 15, I want to say. Um, and I came back and now I've been doing uh, shows here every semester pretty much. And I've pretty much done every single show since I've been here, which was 2022, 20, I believe it was. Um, and so my first show back here was, I think, was it Drac? I think it was Dracula. I think. Yeah. We were in, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it was Dracula. <laughs> Um, and that, I also had a, a leading role in that as well. Um, and so a lot of my time in the theater has been um, a lot of different shows, a lot of different experiences. Um, and, and especially, I've also been overseas, like you, um, been to Italy and Greece. Um, and I've been to Italy a couple different times. Um, one, I went with the group of students who went before uh, you guys, or actually, well, technically all of us did. Um, and that, I didn't really do a lot of work. It wasn't as intensive as the time I went as an actual student and um, was in, involved in the work. And then, of course, we went to Greece this uh, past summer, and uh, that was awesome as well. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where uh, I, that's how we, I got to where I am today, yeah. And you talk about dual enrollment. Is there any more that you can say about how being a dual enrollment student at USCL has affected your work as an as an actor? Yeah. So, well, to start off with, it's given me a ton of opportunities. Not only to um, you know go to these overseas places and um, and perform for an international audience, but also it is given me an opportunity to learn from actors who are not only more experienced but are just simply older than me, and I. Um, I fully believe that that is a large factor as to where I am today um, because I've been able to watch all of uh, my peers who are older than me, who are more experienced, who have been doing shows for much longer than I have, um, and see how they perform and see how they interact with their fellow actors. Um, and that has just been very, very influential. Um, and I think the other thing is, um, 
that there's a double, I'll put a double sided coin, I think that's what we're going with here. Um, and however, being a dual enrollment student does bring its own challenges. Um, I remember, especially near the beginning, um, I felt like I was a part of the cast, but because I was so young, I wasn't able to you know go do all the things that you guys would do. And um, I think that that almost made me want to strive and do my work even um, further and become better so I felt like I could be on that level. And eventually I more I realized that that was just an age thing, not a <laughs> skill problem. Um, but yeah, no, I think that's where, um, I think dual enrollment has been a hugely influential factor in, into how I am an actor today. When it comes to actually acting, mm -hmm. is there any place where you could say that you get your inspiration from mainly? So, if I'm creating like devised work, if I'm in, in devised work, it's definitely um, personal experience. Um, that's definitely where I do the I grab most of my um, work that I create by myself from. And um, like for example, on the spectrum, that was a show that uh, me and my mom did together, and we had performed it not only in Italy but also at um, the Scranton. I think it was the Scranton Fringe Festival. Um, San Diego Fringe Festival. We've done it pretty much all over, and um, that was a really awesome experience, but it was definitely, um, it was a very personal show, and um, I think also another, I guess I could say person I get my inspiration from is my mom. Um, not only seeing her act, but seeing her direct, uh, and just seeing her vision and seeing how she interacts with her actors. I mean, I've been in shows with her before, like just as an actor and her as an actor, um, and seeing how she acts in certain roles um, very, very much inspired how I am um, and how I conduct myself in a theatrical space. So that's, I think that's where I get most of my uh, inspiration, probably my mom. That's where I'm, I'm gonna go with that because she's awesome. And you brought up some productions you've been in, like Peter Pan, Dracula, On the Spectrum. Mm -hmm. Do you have any one that is your favorite, or maybe your favorite to have been a part of? So, I think for me it's hard to pinpoint one favorite show. Um, most of the shows I've been in I fully enjoyed. Um, but I, I, I mean, I do, I think I'm a little bit biased. I think On the Spectrum is probably my favorite, just because, I mean, it is about me, mm -hmm. um, which is really self-involved, but um, I really did enjoy it. Um, I, but I think also because of the challenge it brought, um, I don't know if you know this, but I'm on the spectrum, so I have ASC, and I'm high functioning, um, and that show challenged me in a lot of respects, especially when I performed it at Town Theater. Now, the context, I did this when I was like 14 at Town Theater. So previously, for the first like four years prior to that, I had been acting there. Nobody really knew. I was just considered what you know normal, and so having to be open like that, and I would have to stim on stage, and that was very very difficult. And you know, and I thank Tyree Rao for that because um, he really was able to pull that um, that drive out of me to be mm -hmm. able to be able to stim on stage in front of an audience was something that is very personal that not even like my extended family knows. Um, so that was just, it was very hard, um, but I'm so, so glad I did it. And it opened my eyes in a lot of respects um, to you know being committed to the work and committing yourself fully and wholly to the work, uh, no matter really what you're doing. And that was very, um, very awesome, very awesome experience. And stepping back a little bit from individual shows, where would you say you are in your journey as an actor as a whole? So as an actor, I would say currently, I'm in an interesting place. Um, of course, I'm still doing shows, so that's not it. Um, however, I've recently I've stopped doing shows at Town Theater, not because I had any big falling out or anything like that, but I've just been very involved here at UCL. Um, and I have actually been really interested in um, competing and getting into competitive acting um, with like SCSTA, that, that's another thing with dual enrollment that's been a lot of me to be able to do. Um, but I think also um, prepping my voice vocally, that's another thing that I've been trying to very focus on um, because I feel like at this point where I am, I'm comfortable where I am with acting, 
But dancing and singing, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> working on that triple threat. Working, working on the triple threat right now. <laughs> um, but especially my voice right now, um, I do know that we have some shows coming up that are more musically involved. Even uh, the show that we are currently in production with, with Frog and Toad, um, I am a lead in that. And that is a vocal show. So I'm trying to do my best right now to improve my voice. That's my main focus right now. But I think as an actor and an artist, I think where I am is just trying to be open as much as I can and learn as much as I can. Because I think that these early years are very, very important. You have a lot of influence, or you, you don't have a lot of influence. You are very <laughs> easily influenced. And so I think, um, I think as a teenager, um, and especially as an actor who is a teenager, I think it's very important that uh, we take a step back and we learn as much as we can um, and practice as much as we can um, and just get those experiences in. I've not turned down an acting experience, I don't think once, or I try not to. <laughs> um, and because I just, it's, it's so good to get those experiences and it's so important. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I think that where I am currently is just trying to keep an open mind and trying to learn just as much as I can. Um, and then just, you know, practicing and improving and doing the best I can to hopefully when I'm older, maybe getting, I don't want to say Broadway because I don't really want to be on Broadway <laughs> for being honest, but, you know, maybe I do at some point maybe want to get into the film business. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Of course, that's not going to be my, like, my only focus. Um but I think that's where I, I want to see myself someday, maybe on a film set somewhere, you know, as a, uh, just, uh, so, as a uh, named role. So that's, I think that's where I am right now. And one last question for you. Through the lens of an actor, that, the actor that you are, what would you say that being creative means to you? So for me, and this is just very personal, I think being creative is expressing not only yourself, but just your story, whatever it may be, in a way that differs from the norm. And I think that cr being creative in general is, you know, thinking outside the box, is differentiating yourself from what is n considered normal. And I think that when being creative, you have to um, take a step back from you know the societal norms, the norms that you have at a job or at school or whatever it may be, and you have to look at it from this very outside, open-minded perspective because that's where you're really going to get those very creative ideas. That's where you're going to find that I would have never thought about that if I was stuck in the mindset of, oh well, I have to abide by all the societal standards. And now, does that mean like you know? Oh well, now we're just not going to abide to any societal okay. standards. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But it does in the thought process and in that creative decision making process and making those choices as an actor, you have to think outside the box. You have to um, strive to stay away from those social norms and, or just norms in general. Don't even have to be social, but just getting away from those norms while you're thinking creatively, I think is very, very important um, while trying to make those choices as an actor. Yeah. And that's about all the questions I had for you. Yeah, thank, so thank, thank you. you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate and thank it. you. Thank you for your time for watching. Thank you. Right. <laughs> so um, if you, and have you ever thought about the idea? I, I personally see myself in a very interesting position. So it's until you make. That's valid. Valid, right? I'm just, I had to cut.